Hi, I'm Steve Eichmann, and I'm here at Gallery Trois for Jonathan Field's exhibition, The Slipper Tongue and Other Works. John, you want to tell me a little bit about the project? Um, sure, yeah. There's about eight or nine pictures in this exhibition, and they're all made using these silver pins that I use to puncture um, velvet or black neoprene rubber. Uh, the idea behind these works is um, comes from a, Tom, a book by Thomas Pynchon uh, and he talks about a Maxwell's demon as a box with molecules where the image collapses. Um, and the subject in the, these works is history. Um, the, the picture that we have behind us, for example, is called The Slipper Tongue and is the central piece in this show. Uh, the Slipper Tongue is a painting that George W. Bush had hanging on the Oval Office wall and he identified or identifies very closely with the central figure who in his mind is this sort of cowboy figure uh, charging up a hill. Um, it's reported in Salon.com, however, that he uh, sadly mis misinterpreted the painting and that in in fact, the cowboy is a, is a horse thief um, who is being chased up the hill by these two figures we see behind me on the right. Um, I read this and I thought this is too good a subject to let go of. Um, the work in a whole, as a whole, as I, as I mentioned, is a kind of history painting that nobody seems to be making history paintings right now uh, in, the t in the kind of tradition of Delacroix or uh, Jericho, people like that. And this, I think, is a fascinating point in American history. There's a kind of a, a change going on. Um, there's been a certain kind of ideology in place for a number of years, which is shifting. Uh, and it seemed a, a subject that, well, it fascinates me and seems worth making art about. So on the one hand, we have the George W. Bush uh, painting, which is here. Uh, and another work within the show over on the other side of the wall there is um, Barack Obama's favorite painting, which is called Hope, and is the subject of his uh, best-selling novel uh, or autobiography. Uh, the audacity of hope and uh, it's a very feminine image um, and so there's this kind of interest that runs throughout all of my work in um, in now in, in kind of history and trying to kind of create a picture or a poetic equivalent to uh, what I think is a fascinating time in American history. Fantastic sounds great to me history hope what more could you ask for thanks a lot John. You're welcome. Thank you. Great.